So we go to sleep there. Let's see. And we're in a dream realm. and welcome to another episode of Regrowth Reloaded. Okay, as you can see behind me, we've got a few new trees. Uh, we've got five of them, actually. So let's uh, take a quick look around. We have a Satsuma. We have Tangerine. We have a Buddha's Hand. This one's Orange. And we have Grapefruit. So... We are almost all done with all of the citrus trees, I believe. The only one that's left is lime, which we are working on now, which is a, a cross between pomelo and key lime. So there's like key lime, lime, finger lime, and then um, regular lime. So I'm going to let that go. I've only got one pollen right now, so... I wait till I get like four of them and then I try it out and see if I get anything out of it. So, and the wood in these is all the same. It's just the same old uh, citrus wood that we've seen, you know, many times from all the other ones. So nothing special there. It just gives a different type of fruit um, when you pick the trees. So that's all there is to that. Anyways, in the last episode, we went to the dream realm, or actually we wound up in the nightmare realm. And then we got what we needed and we crafted our uh, dream weaver of nightmares. So we're going to try again to go into the, the dream realm and see if we actually get a dream and not a nightmare. But first thing we're going to do is I'm going to make a couple of things and that will hopefully come over with us um, and the first thing I want to do is uh, it's not in there it's in this one is we're gonna make a traveler's belt um, so that is um, six leather two aluminum ingots and a chest so let's go ahead and grab that let's make that real quick so we got the chest in the middle the two aluminum ingots next to it and then the leather above and below and then we got a traveler's belt now if we come into our baubles we can let me take out my focus pouch we really don't need to worry about that i'm going to put does that go in here somewhere thought it did maybe it doesn't go into baubles goes in here there we go so we have our traveler's belt and that allows us to swap the hot bar which is control V so if we go into control V there's the contents of our traveler's belt so and if we open up our inventory okay and we still got that silly thing going um, let me go ahead. I'm going to put an ender chest in there. So let's do control V. And I thought, didn't I grab the ender chest? Uh, because it's there. Let me put it up in this one. <laughs> let's try this again. There we go. Now we can put our ender chest in there. V will switch us back to our normal hot bar. Now that should uh, allow us to carry it over into the spirit realm because those things, it's kind of cheaty, I know, but we're not going to go through this whole nine yards of everything that we need to do to craft this one, um, the, the one potion that we're going to need eventually. And um, that is, um, yeah. <laughs> so, what I'm, I've got 
in this chest here is I've got pretty much everything that we're going to need over there eventually. So I'm going to put down the other ender chest there and that stuff should carry across into the uh, dream realm as well. We're going to find out anyways. I made a bunch more of the uh, broods of sleeping. So we should be okay. It, if, um, actually let me um, make sure I've got some... Uh, some uh, icy needles on me otherwise uh, it's uh, gonna be a bad trip we would have to die over there not that we'd have anything on us to, to lose but it just would be kind of a pain in the neck we'd have to like jump in the water or something and drown ourselves so let's just uh, fly over here gonna grab a brew of sleeping here I've got a total of nine of them. We're going to come over to the side where I'm not going to climb the tree. Okay, so we've got the uh, Dreamweaver of Nightmares there. So if we drink this here, so we go to sleep there. Let's see. And we're in a dream realm. It is constant daylight here. Um, so if there are any mobs out here, they will die but uh, this is our world in the dream realm so we need to get ourselves some uh, wispy cotton and we need to get one there's these subdued spirits we're supposed to be getting as well at some point I didn't bring put any weapons or anything in the ender chest Let's do this. I'm going to come over here so we know where we're at. This is the big waterfall thing that's in over by our base. And then we know that also that's where our um, Thalmcraft area is. So I'm going to do this. Let's see. Control V. There we go. We got our end chest. And then move this up in here. There we go. Yeah, it's just kind of annoying because we got the um, Academy Craft stuff and everything there. Fantastic. All right, so that's there where we're going to use it. When we come back in, hopefully next time we will enter in a Dream Realm again. There's always a chance that you're still going to get a Nightmare, even if you got the Dream Weaver just lessens your chance of uh, getting a nightmare. I don't need to pick up all these saplings. Just, they're just kind of driving me crazy laying out here. But let's see if we can find ourselves some wispy cotton now. So I'm going to run around and find some wispy cotton. I'll be right back with you. Okay, I found a handful of wispy cotton and I'm dying, so let's uh, poke ourselves and head back home. Ran out of food. Of course, it's nighttime here, but let's uh, go sleep and take care of that. All right, so we have actual wispy cotton now instead of that disturbed cotton. So let's sleep and let's see what we need to do next. All right, now what I should do is put some food in that um, ender chest. Let's go grab some, uh, yeah, I got a stack of baked potatoes in there, that'll work. And uh, let's go ahead and put that in there real quick. And that way when we go back over there, we got food at least. food in there. Now let's take a look at our quest book and see how we're doing and we were in chapter 10 how the world grows. Okay so we got one quest quest with unclaimed rewards. 
So gotta catch them all. So we got our wispy cotton and so we're going to get three more wispy, wispy cotton. So let's go ahead and claim our reward on that. So the next thing it wants us to do is do spiritual soothing. The sound of flowing water can be quite relaxing, so why not try and create an ever better analog for it through through be that, through brewing in the kettle. Unfortunately, to make a liquid that sounds truly soothing, you'll need to brew it in the spirit world to truly embrace what it feels like to sleep. Unfortunately, this means establishing a base of operations in the spirit world to the point where you can undertake brewing. Fortunately, the ores there remain intact during the cataclysm and can still be found underground as, as can some deposits of slate. Once you have the flowing spirit, you can place it near your dream weaver of nightmares to further increase the chance of getting a dream rather than a nightmare within the, with the dream weaver, three blocks of flowing spirit and two wispy cotton nearby, you'll have a 100% chance of entering a dream rather than a nightmare. So it wants us to make a brew of flowing spirit and that is fanciful thread, Spanish moss, water artichoke, glint weed, mandrake root, and wool of the bat. Now the fanciful thread requires four of the wispy cotton, some string, and odor of purity. I'm gonna hold off on that just a little bit. I only have 12. And I'm gonna need, I think, two of these for something else that we're going to work on here. So, what I want to take a look at is we need to go into chapter nine. So we're gonna go into chapter nine real quick. The life of the world. Uh, and that opened up wormwood seeds. So let's take a look at this. A product of the spirit world, wormwood will only grow in the presence of wispy cotton. It can be mutated from wheat and snowbell. Okay, so we need to make wormwood seeds and that is snowbell seeds and regular wheat seeds on garden soil uh, or farmland tilled garden soil but it has to have wispy cotton nearby now let's see so we need snowbell and wheat so we're going to be doing a crop mutation which we haven't done in ages so snowbell and wheat so we should have wheat seeds those are nature these are all of those let's see There's snowbell one of those and a wheat seed we have crop sticks in here we do Till the ground with just the um, mattock. So, let's just put it over here for now. Okay, and then we need our crop sticks. Double one in the middle. Um, let me take that out real quick. Let me get some. bone meal there we go oh actually I need to move this actually because I have to have the from what I've seen anyways you have to plant the wispy cotton like here and here And let's go ahead and get our crop sticks down. There and there. Double one in the middle. Okay, so we got wheat. And snow bells. Okay, and we will let that uh, do its thing. And hopefully we're going to get our wormwood seeds out of it. So, while that's doing its thing, 
let's just uh, see what else we can get up to. So let me clean up my inventory a little bit and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I decided let's go ahead and work on, on that, um, what we need there. So first thing we needed, let's come back into this. We need to look at the recipe and we need the fanciful thread, which is four wispy cotton, a string, and an odor of purity. Odor of purity. And there we go, one odor of purity. So, four wispy cotton, string, odor of purity. And we want that dude saying it's going to make the fanciful thread. And of course it's night time, so I'm going to go sleep again real quick. Recipe again. Fanciful thread, Spanish moss. Okay, but that's all stuff that we're going to need in the um, dream realm because we can't brew that here. All right, so we got that part done. And I should put that in the ender chest back and forth back and forth don't worry we'll get there we're gonna need a few more things anyways to take with us I mean technically we have everything we need to so we got a kettle, we got a bucket, we got that, we got some glass bottles, I've got some food in here, so we need fanciful thread, Spanish moss, uh, water artichoke, wool of bat, glint weed, and a mandrake. I think that's everything that we need to do that. So let's double check. Yep, that's everything that we need, and that will finish up that quest. Now we're still gonna have to go back into the spirit realm and and go after like the the um, subdued spirits. Let me go ahead and do this. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there and that in there. And I just need to remember to put them back before we go in there. Otherwise, they're gonna be stuck on us over there in the dream realm. Here, grab another brew of sleeping. Hopefully we go back into a dream and not into a nightmare. And here we go once again. Nope, nightmare. Brought myself back. Okay, let's try this again. Here we go. Okay, back into a dream. All right, good. Good, good, good. Where is our waterfall? It's over here. Creepers everywhere. All right, let me do this real quick.
that get rid of everybody here. Okay, so let's uh, get this going here real quick. So we have our cattle, we have a bucket, have some nether rack, glass bottles, that, and that. I did bring my pick. So we're just going to dig out an area here. Put that in there. Let's see. Mint and steel. Bucket. Now let's go get some water real quick. Pool right here. Now I didn't bring my robes with me, but that's okay. Do that. Okay. Get this junk out of my way here. I know I don't really need to carry all that stuff back with me, but um, all right, so fanciful thread, Spanish moss, water artichoke, willow bat, glint weed, and mandrake root. Let's make sure we got them in the right order. Need some food. Okay. And this was flowing spirit. So, thread, Spanish moss, artichoke, glint weed. Artichoke, glint weed. I think it's mandrake root. Yeah. Look at that, and then we will do that. All right, so here we go. Fanciful thread, Spanish moss, water artichoke, glint weed, mandrake root, willow bat, white particles, and we got three brews of flowing spirit. Perfect. Go ahead and toss those in here too. Put my tools back. Okay, and um, actually, let me uh, go ahead and do this. I'm going to take some food. Let me take my terror blade. I'm going to see if there's any of these subdued spirits around here, and I'm going to try to catch a couple of them. And I'll be right back with you before we head back.
Okay, um, I managed to uh, get 10 subdued spirits, found 18 more wispy cotton. Um, if you guys are going after subdued spirits, definitely bring your Terra Blade with them. They're very easy to get with the Terra Blade. So um, I'm gonna put this stuff in my chest here. Just dump everything back in there. Let me go ahead and grab one of these. And let's head on back to the real world. All right, I'm wide awake. Let's um, head back into our base and check our quest book. All right, so brew of flowing spirit. We not, oh, it's in the um, <laughs> ender chest, that's why. So, let's go ahead and grab that and do detective it real quick. There we go, along with all of our other goodies. 100%, that gives us two more brew of flow, flowing spirits. Hey, did it open up anything else in here? No. So it looks like the only things that are left are Bane of Tibbs, which again, that's an ugly thing, and The Haunted, and we're not gonna, you know, unless they show up, there's not, not much we can do. I could probably cheat in some um, spawn eggs for them if you guys wanna see me fight them, and I will just to complete that quest if they don't show up on their own. So. Let me uh, clean up my inventory real quick, and I'll be right back with you. All right, I've cleaned up my inventory. Let's go check on the status of our wormwood seeds. Have you got any here? And uh, yes, we do. Some wormwood. So let's go ahead and grab that. And let's go ahead and check our quest book here. So that was number nine. All quests completed. So let's go in there. Wormwood, and then we get two wormwood out of it. So let's go ahead and claim our reward. Now, I think this does require always to have wispy cotton growing near it. Uh, so I'm gonna have to do something to set that up. But let's go ahead and get these scanned. Should be one, it might be five, five, five. I hope they're five, five, five because we had 10, 10, 10s that they sprouted from. So I'm going to uh, have to set up something here with what I've got uh, to get this to grow. And uh, I'll do that between episodes because, you know, the drill is just placing it down and waiting for it to, to get up to the level that you want it at. I don't really know what all wormwood is used for. So uh, that's, yeah, just something that we're going to have to do between episodes. All right, well, that's it for this episode. Um, we got most of everything that we need to do in the spirit world done. So we probably never have to go back to that place. If we do, it's probably just to get some more of the uh, subdued spirits. Uh, we'll have to see what they are used for in the near future. In the next episode, I'm hoping that we're going to do some more witchery. Um, I do want to uh, finally get our uh, familiar and start working on uh, getting a coven put together and uh, seeing what we need to do to progress with that. So, until next time, this is Desert Rat. Have a good one. Goodbye.